Hello, my most amazing artist. Spring is right around the corner. So think of it as the people that make you happy. They are like the charming little gardeners that help make your soul blossom. Spring has a way of bringing new life and new beauty to the world around us. So with that in mind, let's create some beautiful spring inspired art. Welcome my most amazing artist. With spring right around the corner, we are going to create a spring poppy field. The materials you need are a pencil and eraser, colored construction paper, sharpie or black marker, scissors, and glue. The elements of art that we will focus on are line, color, and form. We want our poppies to have a three-dimensional look, giving them height, width and depth instead of a flat one-dimensional shape. Our inspiration comes from Antelope Valley, California's Poppy Reserve. Come springtime, get ready for an eye-popping show staged by Mother Nature in a protected area noted as a perfect microclimate for these flowers. You can experience a technicolor display of California poppies. They are the state's official flower. Check out this beautiful orange palette. However, poppies can come in a variety of different colors, from reds to pinks to yellows to oranges to whites. Your I can statement is I can draw a field of 3D poppies using the elements of art, line, form, and color. You're going to begin with a green piece of paper as your background and whatever color construction paper you want to use for your poppies. Along with, you're going to need your scissors, sharpies, and glue. Have one color, that's totally fine, or you can use a variety of colors. We're going to begin by drawing a series of varying sizes of circles. Now, these do not have to be perfect circles, so you don't have to get anything to trace. You just want to make them in different sizes. Some a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. That's up to you. Now I'm going to draw about three or four on each piece of paper. Now on the inside, we're going to draw the middle of our flower and you can color it all in. You can draw polka dots. You can draw little swirly lines, however you want. You can make a variety of different ones and then you're just going to draw a series of diagonal lines that come out from the center and go all the way around. Then once you've finished your lines you're going to create little circles on the edges or outside of each one of those little lines that you drew. Once you've finished one flower, you can continue doing the same exact technique on the others. Now we are creating our poppies. Now if you're going to do another color, go ahead and start that now. If you only have one color paper, you are probably going to have to fill it up with a bunch of different size circles. Now, Practice with drawing some different um, center circles if you want. Just continue those diagonals with the little dots on the edge. Once you have finished drawing all of your circles, you are going to pause this video, grab your scissors, and get ready to cut them all out. I like to leave a little bit of room on the outside edge to not cut inside my flower. Once you have them all cut out, we are going to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional, giving it height, width, and depth. So by doing that, we're essentially just wanting to fold it in half. You're going to open it back up and fold it in half again on the other side. And then this one takes a little bit of extra practice. You're going to 
really make sure it's folded good open it up you can see those fold marks and then you are going to see where the little inside of it is you're going to pinch so you can see I'm going to pinch that inside to where my finger is and then pinch it back over this one's going to take a little bit of practice so take your time and then you're going to kind of open it up and you can do the same thing on the other side and you're just sort of pinching it together so that now it looks a little bit more 3d you can do it on all sides if you want just take your time i like to hold it in the middle too to make sure it doesn't have to be perfect we just want to make it look sort of like a little bowl almost or an abstract flower you're going to continue this process with all the flowers that you would cut except for your really small ones you're just going to kind of want to fold it in half so you can see you just want to fold it in half and then you're going to let the outside of it show so that you can see your drawing marks so those will be some of our smaller flowers that are just blooming in the poppy field so then you can go ahead and grab another big one fold it in half twice so fold it in half and then fold it in half and then you're going to just slowly but surely pinch those corners in so take your time again it takes a little bit of patience and practice to sort of pinch those corners in now remember the beautiful thing about flowers is they're an organic shape so nothing about folding these or pinching these together to make it a little 3d has to be perfect it can get a little warped or a little distorted and it's still gonna be great Now once you have all of your flowers folded and pinched to look a little bit more three-dimensional, you're going to want to just sort of arrange them on your paper. So play with the placement and your composition, seeing where you want your flowers to go. You can play with the colors and kind of mix them up and mix up some of the sizes so that they're not all the big ones in one area. Once you have your placement arranged, you can go ahead and get ready for your glue. Now you can use a glue stick or a glue bottle. For this project, I like to use my glue bottle so I can get a nice little drip of glue on the bottom and then I just press it down and hold it down for a moment. Now remember, a little drop goes a long way. One of the biggest mistakes students use is trying to glop it on. They think the more glue, the better. It's really the less glue, the better. It will stick when it dries. So take your time, just a little dot so it's not oozing all over your paper because we're going to have to draw our stem and our leaves. And so we don't want to be getting our markers filled with glue. Just a little dot, hold down that flower where you want it. Once you've finished gluing, I would walk away from your art for a moment, get a snack, watch your favorite TV show, read a book for a little bit, let them dry so that you don't accidentally move them, and grab either your black marker or Sharpie, and you're going to practice drawing straight lines, curved lines, diagonal lines, wavy lines, whatever kind of lines you want to do. So you're going to draw them going from the flower all the way to the ground. Once you have finished drawing your lines for your stems, we're going to add little decorative lines, dash marks almost, to create some texture in our stems as well as visual interest in our drawing.
Once you're finished with your stems, if as the artist you want to add just a few more unique elements, you can add some more blossoms by drawing those in, as well as some leaves. But that will be your choice as the artist. Enjoy making a fun and bright, beautiful poppy field. Well done, my most amazing artist.